Well, imagine dimmer switches, just like we have dimmer switches, that when a male is thinking, he's turned down the dimmer switch on listening. All right? And the, and the dimmer switch on talking. You ladies can talk, think, and listen all at the same time. And often, this is what's funny, often you use talking as a form of thinking. Men will do that occasionally, occasionally. Women do it all the time. So when Bonnie's talking, I don't know if she's talking or thinking. <laughs> but generally when a man says something, he stopped thinking and now he's saying what he was thinking before. Are you kind of following that a little bit? So when we talk about monotasking, we're meaning that, well, when, for example, I'm thinking and Bonnie's talking to me. And while she's talking and I'm thinking, here's what I hear. <laughs> or she sounded like my Swedish grandfather, right? <laughs> I mean, that's what I hear. And she goes, then she'll come over sometimes, she'll say, honey, she'll change the tone of her voice, something I'll kind of come out of my focus, start thinking, I go, yes. I've been talking to you for five minutes. Uh, well, you may want to kind of paraphrase it and catch me up. <laughs> Now, just because you as ladies can do that, men don't do that, all right? They don't. And another thing that's interesting about the, the male brain in terms of, uh, of interaction, and we'll, we're gonna talk quite a bit about all of this here, hopefully, but uh, when we talk about the, the differences here is that if you'll notice, the female brain is highly integrated. So if there's one word to describe the male brain, it's compartmentalized. If there's one word to describe the female brain, it would be integrated. Now, you ladies are exchanging information night and day. When you go to sleep at night, okay, 10% of your brain goes to sleep. 90% of your brain is interacting because of MRI that we can do now. It's interacting with the same three parts of your brain that deal with relationships. Women are thinking about relationships morning, noon, night, and sleeping. Now, men need to dedicate themselves there, so 70% of the male brain goes to sleep. <laughs> Not cry joking to say the other 30% is committed to snoring. Uh, it's not. That's controlled by what they call the inner blood of the alligator brain. But uh, anyway, over here, what we have 70% of the male brain goes to sleep. It just does. Now, that irritates Bonnie. She kind of went, ah, I don't think that's fair. Bummer deal. <laughs> We're going to find there's no fair. It's not fair, it's different. And learning to accept those differences and not resent them uh, comes to one of my classic, one of the things that I, I, I really have kind of almost institutionalized this thing. All frustration comes from unmet expectation. No such thing as somebody who's frustrated doesn't have an expectation. And see, they're, they're the same, uh, it's on the same stick, they're just different ends. So if this end over here is expectation, this end is frustration. Because if the expectation isn't met, you're frustrated. Well, what if I expect men to be like women? I am going to be frustrated. I'm going to be frustrated. That's all.